Hello, this is the Excalibur King Master 3. I'll, uh, this is a brief overview. I'll go over some functions. Number one, on. And if you want to change it to checkers, press new game and press new game again for checkers. Otherwise, press it again for chess, and then start making your moves to indicate you're playing a chess game. Now I'm going to press off, and that's how that button works. It says bye. Let's try on again. Select new game, chess, and then um, clear. So on and clear are the same button. Option is for sound, all sound, play sound, all sound. Um, press left and right to choose a, an option. Some sound and uh, none, no sound. So that's the option you might want, but I, I don't want that one. So I just set it for all sound. And then for... Uh, Let's see, verify. Queen is on D1, and there's a black queen on D8. There's a bishop on C1, a bishop on F1, a rook on A1, and a rook on H1, and a black rook on A8, and a black rook on H8. And let's see, pawns. A2, B2, C2, C2. D2, E2. Okay, so this is a new game. And to get out of verify, press clear, which is the same as the on button. Clear. Now we're going to hit new game. And we're going to hit clear. So we have a new game. Press E2, E4. And it plays a Sicilian. And you can hit option. We have it for some sounds. Let's hit all sounds and then hit clear. And then we're going to hit hint. So what should we play in the Sicilian? G1, F3. So I guess there it's just consulting its opening book for the open Sicilian. And then it'll play D7, D6. And then we would play D2, D4. C5 takes D4 for the open Sicilian. It's called the open Sicilian because uh, white and black trade off a pair of pawns. And let's see what if it plays A6 or, or G6. G8, F6. Knight C3 is the continuation and it plays the... Uh, what is it called? The Nidorf. That's the A A6 move is the Nidorf. So it plays the open Sicilian plays the Nidorf. I wonder if it'll play uh I wonder if it'll play G6 or E6 as a reply. Um I think Bishop C4 is the Sozin. No, it's thinking, so uh, it's not programmed that far in the opening book. I think Fisher liked Bishop C4 here. Now, there's no abort button, so we're going to just gonna let it think. And that'll take a long time, because it's going to think for about a minute and a half on level 37.
b7b5 that's a good move yeah that's probably why you don't play bishop c4 so let's go over here uh level right under the rook for the rook is for verify and setup we'll press level we're going to decrease that from 35 and if you hold it down it doesn't go down in tens uh it just or does it no you got to press it as many times as you want the level to go down and then when you're done changing the level press clear and then let's check check level again so set for level 08 I don't, I don't know if you guys can see that very well but i can't <laughs> but it's meant for viewing angles like 30 degrees like you're looking at it way down here like you're playing at like you're lying down on a bed looking at it with your hand on your on your face or something i don't know why they made the lcd hard to look at straight on because that's how you might play it um and then there's off save so that'll save the game press on clear and you can press verify and we'll see where uh where the bishop is there's one on c1 there's one on c4 let's check the knight there's one on c3 there's one on d4 okay so let's get out of that press clear and then uh set up the king is on e1 so the setup and the king button are the same button so if you press king again you'll get the black king is e on e8 and if you want to change it, you probably hold down and press on the sensor where it is or where you want it to be. And then press it again for the next color and press it again to clear that square, I think. Um, and there's contrast. So, see, the contrast is 5. Let's turn it up to, oh, that's a lot better. Contrast 8 and then press clear. Should have done that to start with. Um... So that's everything except multi-move and move. So with move, it'll take over the white pieces because it's white's turn. But if I press black white first, uh, it doesn't change it during the game from black to white plane. I think that's for maybe for setup. So if we press move, it'll play for white. It's thinking E4, E5, C4, D3. c4 d5 okay that's not a good move because the knight's just gonna take it but it didn't think very well it's only on level eight i think level one to ten is pretty uh a pretty crappy game and level maybe ten is okay but it's pretty bad in the end game on level nine eight nine and ten it's not very it doesn't look very far in the end game like it doesn't look as far as a human player similarly rated to what it is would play it plays far weaker in the end game than it does in the middle in the, in the opening probably due to the opening book and uh it's just uh more more complicated in the middle game you don't humans don't look as far in the middle game but uh beyond level 12 it gets really hard and then i think there's um a search function glitch or maybe a pruning bug in the algorithm somewhere beyond level 35 or so it'll actually not think as well and it'll it'll prune out essential moves or something wrong is happening and it's like walking into maiden four against a, a, a stockfish 14 when i tried it on level 35 or something or or 70 level 70 or 72 or something i was playing against stockfish and then at like halfway through the time that it was searching it it changed its mind about rook to a8 it's what stockfish was agreeing with and played a way worse move that uh walked into maiden four rather than holding the game off for another 10 or maybe 15 moves against stockfish 14 on the on move you know 34 or something but i don't have this position right now and i can't set it up because i'm making a video so I should have had that plan, but I didn't, so you're not going to see that. But I'll make another video of that someday, maybe sometime. Maybe. Um, so 
there we do there we have it now it's our turn to play the black pieces you just uh flip the board around if you wanted and then play the black pieces and the sensors work by pressing down on them and uh on the square it's going from and then down on the square it's going to and where it's uh where it's a multi move or no where it's a move where where more than just one thing is happening like you have to take a piece off the board or something or you have to move your like castling and en passant you know, you might have to press down on, th on three different squares to indicate you've taken the uh, such a pawn like the, the en passant pawn off that you captured or or to to move rook also from h8 or whatever h1 to f1 or f8 you're casting short so uh i wish i could show you more but my 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 phone is telling me i'm running out of space to record here so that's setup level verify i didn't cover multi-move i covered move so for multi-move oh e4 d5 that's his move here we go so for multi-move, I can just play both black and white. So you could have two players playing against each other on this board and the board verifying through the AI that they're legal moves, which is a, a fairly desirable feature. Now for the last thing I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you, oh, take back, F3, F2. So here's take back. And then uh, on the bottom... We have a compartment for battery and compartment for the pieces. Here's where the pieces go. Pretty neat. And this is where the battery goes. It takes three AAA. You can't plug in a charger there. And the board's going crazy because all the sensors are being set off right now. And all the pieces fell off. So thanks for watching and remember to... Uh, Please subscribe and uh, thank you very much. Bye.